Hello everyone. Now, I just want to make a quick little video today. It's not going to be too long because I've got uh, a few few things to do today. So I don't want to drag this out longer than I have to. But I just want to make a little video talking about the upcoming Spellbound Collection event for Apex Legends. Yes, I'm finally getting around to talking about Apex. Yeah, the trailer for the event just released today. Uh, I'm not going to play the full trailer, but I'm just going to go over little snippets of it. So the first things we get in the trailer, we just get a few little looks at the upcoming uh, cosmetics for the Legends. As well as seeing that, as well as seeing as Control is coming back. And then we're greeted with this awesome cover image for the event. We've got Seer up front and Vantage in the back. Pretty cool. Vantage skin looks pretty cool. And then we move on just to see that Control is returning. We see being played on the usual maps, Olympus, World's Edge, and Stormpoint. Then we move on to talking about the cosmetics for the event. We get a look at a Crypto skin, a Horizon skin, and a Fuse skin. I'm gonna say, Horizon out here looking very Scarlet Witch. I do like it, it's a pretty cool skin. We also get a look at Maggie and Vantage's skin. A pretty cool color scheme, I do quite enjoy it. Move on to Mirage and Seer. One thing we also don't really get to see uh, showing up close is there's an Ash skin on the far left as well as a Valkyrie skin. We want to Tracker Rewards. We look to get a Prowler skin, a Lifeline skin and an Aneva skin. And then we get a look at the big thing for this collection event is Seer's Fist Sickle Heirloom. I like it. It goes with uh, Seer's you know his whole design it's really sleek it's real clean it's it looks really cool there's two of them which is pretty sick the way it opens is really cool it goes again with serious character so i think it suits him what is this what uh. Bro, why do why do Apex Legends Mobile get such cool skins and like such cool looking events and cool like heroes and stuff? What is that Gibraltar skin? That looks insane. Anyway, I'm not talking about Apex Legends Mobile um, here. But yeah, the new Seer heirloom looks really cool, and um, personally, it wouldn't be a first choice for me to uh, if I unlocked my heirloom shards. But it does look pretty sick, and I think if it came down to having just a few left. It would probably be one of the first ones I get. Right, I also just quickly want to go over this. This is uh, up on EA's site now regarding the event. As we know, Control is coming back. Uh, three maps, Stormpoint, World's Edge, and Olympus. A few game mode updates here. Join in progress extended further into match. Matchmaker will try fill empty player slots until one team has a score of 625 or there's a score of difference of 300 between the teams. Players that join the match in progress get some helpful boosts for their first spawn. They skip the first spawn wave spawn with purple armor and helmet and get a full ratings tier which just means you get purple weapons and an ultimate charge which is pretty cool it's nice to see if the matchmaker will try and fill um empty slots if players leave at an end of match xp to control pretty cool if the team is losing by 62 or more they skip spawn waves at a distance indicator to the mrb in world icon at a time remaining indicator on the mrb spawn point map icon display a hint message when mrb placement is not possible explaining why placement is failing too close to friendly or enemy home base, too close to a zone. Bloodhound clues clean up after 30 seconds instead of 90 seconds. Clean up Bloodhound clues when a player that left them behind dies except for the player death clue. Some more spawn tuning to further try and prevent players from spawning close to enemies. Set the inventory tab as the default instead of the scoreboard when accessing menus during gameplay. Update the loadouts in the loadout selection menu based on weapon meta changes and bug and crash fixes. Now this, this is what I... I'm looking forward to a lot. This is huge. We're now able to create our own custom matches. So, you know, people can host it. This opens up a lot for like little community esports, um, which I think is going to be it, this is huge. This is huge for the game. We, like we've been wanting uh, people to make private matches now for so long. And I feel like it's such a great addition that it's finally happening. Just some of the Spellbound collection event items. We got Fuse, his weapon that matches with him. Mirage, the weapon that matches with him. Seer, his weapon. Maggie, it's pretty sick skin. I do really like it. Vantage, pretty cool skin. Along with her gun. The Seer heirloom. I, again, really like this heirloom. It's pretty sick. It's got some cool animation to it. Like, that's really cool. It's really cool looking.
Now the reward trackers. So here we see obviously what you're gonna be playing for in this. This is something I think Apex. Uh, not Apex. This is Apex. This is something that I think that Overwatch can um, kind of learn for. You know, maybe bring back the old system um, where you know you play, you win nine games, you get a skin, something like that. Uh, for three weeks during an event, maybe something like that. That'd be sick. Just keep, I don't know why they got rid of that in the first place. Maybe bring it back. But this, this is nice. It is just filled with you know a, a battle pass. I'm pretty sure that's a level, a music track, some player cards, an Apex pack at a thousand, a gun charm, a lifeline skin, an Ava eight skin, and a Prowler skin. So here's a store that's going to be for the length of the event. Bring back some old skins as well as two bundles for the event. This one I'm really looking forward to. I need to get that Revenant skin. It's probably it's one of the ones I don't have, and it's one of my favorites. So I will be um spending a bit of money on this. The January 17th to January 20th, we got this. And then January 20th to January 24th, we got this one. Nice raid skin coming back. I do really like that skin. Some of the patch notes. Crafting rotation, G7 enters the crafter. The car, SMG also enters the crafter. The Spitfire and the Peacekeeper return to the floor. Anvil receiver, hop up. Limb damage multiplier reduced from reduced to 0.75 was 0.9. Flatline damage reduced from 39 to 39 was 43. Or 301 damage reduced to 32 was 35. G7 scale damage reduced from 32 was 34. The parallel has been gotten a damage increase to 15 from 14 and the sentinel never requires one shield cell to energize was two. And then just a couple of bug fixes. So yeah, this event seems to be bringing, um, again, it's not a lot, but it is pretty good. Um, but yeah, this this right here, this is huge. I, I love this. This is going to open a lot for small little community held esports event, which I think is pretty sick. Yeah, I, I, I think this collection event will, will be cool. Obviously, we're not getting anything massive. It is just a collection event. It's nothing, you know, really brand new. We're only getting control back. We're getting a new Seer Earloom, which is pretty sick. All the skins are really cool, especially that Horizon skin. It's very Scarlet Witch looking. But yeah, that's all I have to really say for this one. Just a quick little video going over. The trailer for the new Spellbound Collection event. I want to be doing a lot more Apex content. I just need to, you know, get back into the game. And yeah, if you want, check out my Instagram. I post art there. I do Overwatch art, Apex art, any other art that, you know, comes to my mind. If you did enjoy, uh, please consider subscribing. It does help quite a bit. Yeah, that's all I really have to say for this one.